Hey everyone, Reaper here again with my little sidekick, my son James, and we're going to make another video. Dr. Von Chilla tagged me. He tagged me to uh, for this slab video that's been going around in the community. And um, it was very nice of him. If you are not subscribed to Dr. Von Chilla, please do so. He's got a really cool little series going on right now with his friend Ellis, who is a 95-year-old man, really nice guy, loved the videos. He has two videos out with Ellis right now, <laughs> and uh, he's going to be making a whole series of them, so please check him out. James. Here's James. You last saw James a few <laughs> months ago. He was a little less active. Now that he's climbing around, trying to walk, he took his first two steps uh, last week, so he's going to be a lot more active. But I wanted to show him in this video, too. Here, James. Here's a piece of cardboard. He loves cardboard and other weird things. So um, for the slab video, oh, before I go on, Eddie the comic book guy made this for me. Now you're going to be seeing this in the backdrop, excuse me, backdrop of, of my videos, uh, my haul videos. But here's the first look at it. Really cool. As you know, those that watch my videos, you know I'm a Riddler fan and a Batman fan. So this is what he made for me. Really cool. But Eddie's a really nice guy and definitely um, a really cool uh, member of the community. You ready, James? Like many others that have been making these uh, videos, I can't limit my books to just five. So I'm gonna ha I have quite a few and I'm going to go through them as quickly as I can. Um, some books... I decided not to include like my New Mutants 98 and others. I just wanted to, um, the books that I'm going to show off now are books that I most likely would get CGC or slabbed before others. So the books that I'm about to show you right now are books that I would get slabbed way before a New Mutants 98. And there were just some that escaped me, some that I just um, decided to leave out uh, to make way for these particular books, okay? So, <laughs> he's all excited. So the first book that I, I'm going to start with my uh, Batman collection. I, I only chose like a couple books here and there. Batman 59, sorry for the glare. Uh, Batman 59, first appearance of Deadshot. No, no, James. This is definitely a book I'd like to. If I was, to, if I wanted to get books slabbed, this would definitely be one of the books on uh, the list that I would get slabbed um, rather uh, sooner than later. Batman sixty three, the first appearance of Killer Moth. Well, no, James, you have your piece of cardboard. <laughs> Detective Comics 411, first appearance of Talia al Ghul. I gotta put them over here because if he gets at them, forget it. <laughs> World's Finest number three, the first appearance of Scarecrow. I think this book is really undervalued. I think Detective Comics 73, the second appearance of the Scarecrow, it has a better cover. I think that one tends to be a little more valuable than his first appearance. Now you've seen this book show up in a couple of my videos. X-Men number one. This is definitely a book I'd like to have slapped. Um, I'd like to go to the New York Comic Con this year and it's going to be Stan Lee's last you know, appearance at a con. I would, oh, I know. It'll be okay. I would like to get him to sign it, but I don't know. We'll see. You've seen this one too, X-Men number four, first appearance of the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, in particular uh, Scarlet Witch and um, Quicksilver. Ah, this, yeah, I thought this side was better with no glare. X-Men 94, first, well, it's the first time the new team was in the series. Amazing Spider-Man 129, first appearance of the Punisher. You like that one, James? One day it'll be yours. One day. Iron Man 55, first
First appearance of Thanos, first appearance of Drax the Destroyer, first appearance of a couple of characters. A lot of the characters I'm really not too familiar with. We're winding down. I only got a couple more here. <laughs> Iron Fist 14, first appearance of Sabretooth. It's good, you know, so a lot of these books, except for the earlier Batman ones, of course, are pretty high grade. But that doesn't even really matter. You know, these are books that I would definitely like to have protected and have slapped. This is another good one. Uh, Luke Cage, number one. First appearance of Luke Cage. I believe it's also the first appearance of Copperhead. I believe so. I could have sworn uh, that Copperhead makes his first appearance in this. Or the person that would later be Copperhead. Marvel Spotlight, number five. First appearance of the Bronze Age Ghost Rider. There have been a couple of Ghost Riders, I believe, a Golden Age one and a Silver Age one. And uh, but I think the Bronze Age one is the most famous, the most well known. And the last book on my list to get slabbed, uh, Werewolf by Night, number thirty-two. The first appearance of Moon Knight. This book, you know, I've, I think I've said it in other videos. It's just so expensive, and I don't know why. It's um, I'm not. I don't say that to be obnoxious or anything. Like, oh, I, I don't, he will. But I, Moon Knight, and I don't know if he has anything going on for himself, like when it comes to TV series coming up, Netflix shows. But this book has been pricey for a long time. And it's only a mid-grade book, my copy. My copy has some dings on the spine and some creases. But I am perfectly okay with it. I am not looking to upgrade it. Okay, that was my slabbed video. Once again, I'd like to thank Dr. Von Chilla for tagging me. It was very nice of him. Go check him out. Go check out all his videos, and particularly there's a new set of uh, videos with um, Ellis in them. And also, before I go, I'd like to give out a shout out to a new guy to the community, uh, Bat Batcave Comics 83. He's from England. He's only got a couple videos out. He's new. He's just starting out. So if you could subscribe to him, give him some support. He'll probably be making more videos in the future. He's a really nice guy. His name is Russell. So check him out too, okay? To Reaper and Little Reaper, thanks for watching, and I will have another haul out within maybe the next month. Thank you for watching, everyone. I really appreciate it, and I will see you later. Bye-bye. Say goodbye, Little Reaper. <laughs>